Hey guys, it's the captain here, and uh, look who it is. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's in my day job. <laughs> it is. It's our, it's our good friend, friend of Anderton's TV, Paul Heimarsh, who, as he just said, is working today up at Line Six HQ in the UK. Um, and I've just grabbed Paul, and we've run into a little office in here uh, to to try and give you the first kind of little five or ten minute swizz through the new uh, Spider Five. Um, but if you don't get all the info that you want from this video, panic not, because Paul's coming back to spend some time with me and Chappers and Pete and Ore and all the stuff, and we'll really yes. take the amateur its paces. So, Spider Five is what? What's the? Uh, what can you tell us? Well, so Spider Five is obviously the new Spider. Yes. Um, the old Spider was very old. Yes. It's been uh, so Spider Four has been around for a long, long time. It is the amp that you see in rehearsal rooms and you see in schools and colleges. You see yeah. that amplifier everywhere. It's worth pointing out that there's 1.5 million yeah. of those amplifiers I, sold. I'm kind of that's the that's the one that I really wanted to. You know, when when Line Six first told me about this, I, I kind of. I knew Spider 4 was going to be replaced soon. It's been around yeah. since 2010 now, you know. I knew this, I know they've sold millions of them, okay. but it's more recently kind of become the butt of sort of gags, if you like. I guess as the technology has just become more and more out of date and other manufacturers have, have, have done, you know. Yeah. So I was kind of thinking maybe when they do the new Spider range, they won't call it Spider, maybe they'll think, you know. But they called it Spider. I'm sort of going, look. It wasn't it is, me. It is what it is. <laughs> I, I can understand it. There's some heritage and legacy, and yeah. clearly, you know, a million plus happy customers out there with with an older Spider amplifier. Uh, but can we just can we just let's park that, forget it, because this is this is so much more about what Line Six have been doing more recently with you know Helix and and Firehawk and all that. You know, this is this is way more technology for 2016 going forward, not from 2010 rehashed. Abs absolutely, so, yeah. I mean, so the, the amplifiers in the range, we still have the 15, yeah. um, but starting from the 30 up, now if you think about the old 30, that had like 12, yeah. 12 amp models in there and 24 effects. What Line 6 have done with this is that if they are, they've newly refined a bunch of amp models, so there's 200 different sounds in each amps and effects in each one of those, wow. and one of these amplifiers now yeah. as well. Um, the ease of use that Line 6 have been using over the last few years as well with amplifying, like I said, Firehawk and Helix, yeah. we can access all of that on any of those amplifiers through the app as well. So easy and quick access either on the front panel of the amplifier, um, we can see we're still using the same colour coding, so we instantly know that that's a delay pedal, I know that's some kind of modulation pedal. So that wouldn't have been on previous Spider, was no. it? This is come from like M, the M series and, and then yeah. more recently into Helix. Absolutely. Color, so you, color you know LEDs that, have yeah. become much more affordable. <laughs> well, and you, you know, so you just kind of know that red is always going to be your ambient effects and you, you know, blue is always going to be your sort of, is it modulation? It's, yeah, mo it modulation, so reverb is yeah. always going to be orange and things yeah. as well. Yeah, but, so you can instantly access all of those different things there as well. So you can do that from the actual amp panel as well. So obviously on the amplifier range of products, we had it where you really needed to use the app yes. a lot to access yes. that. Um, you don't need to do that now. So you you can do that from the front panel, um, or you can do it actually from the, the can we wired just up. Quickly clarify though, uh, mm -hmm. the one thing that Amplify still does that this doesn't do is yep. the whole tone matching cloud based jam along thing, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. this won't do the tone matching. Uh, yes, just because Amplify is still current and kind of does its own unique sort of thing. Yes. Um, Yes, absolutely, yeah. But, but, the, the edge but what you can do is you can still it? search for all those online tones. Oh, wow. So okay. you can still go, so you can go online there and you can search for whoever your favorite guitar player right. is. And likewise, if we created a guitar yeah. sound tone here today, or we did it on Thursday, I believe, and I'm seeing you again, yeah. we could then save that as Andon's, okay. and then anybody who had one of the spiders, or indeed one of the amplifiers or anything, could actually just download that tone as well. So we have all of the cloud, uh, access to the cloud integration. Let, let's go, we'll go into more of that, I think, yeah. when we do the longer yeah. demo. So, um, all new, all new sounds. We yeah. got we got a new speaker system, and we. Uh, yeah. So Spider Five, the 120 that we're listening to now, that has a 12-inch speaker in there, but it also has a horn as well. So you'll find that right down to the 30 as well. Yeah. So the advantages of having a horn in there. Um, mean that you can plug an acoustic guitar into that, yeah. you can play music back through that as well. So each of the amplifiers, like Amplify, has an auxiliary in there. So you know, if you're if you're a kid playing in your bedroom, you can stream, you can plug your music through that acoustic uh, guitar. I tell it, watch this video to the end because we'll play out with with uh, a cool thing where Paul does like a loop on an acoustic and then plays a little bit of electric on top. But so yeah, full range speaker sounds absolutely great. Mm -hmm. Again, very much in keeping with what uh, the guys have been doing on sort of you know Firehawk and Amplify, you know, trying to give these. Yeah. Kind of FRFR style speakers rather than just your traditional guitar speaker. Yeah. Um, okay. So the next, 
Go on. Yeah, so the going. next thing really to talk about is obviously over the last few years, Line Six have really got um, busy with those awesome radio systems. Yeah. Um, so you can buy now the Relay G10 system. Uh, Spider um, 60 upwards actually has a, a, a receiver for the G10 system That's built so into cool. there. So you buy the amplifier. Yeah. If you then plug this to, yeah. So this will plug into the front of the amplifier. It will charge whilst it's sitting inside there as well. And then when you plug that, it will scan. It will look for an available frequency. Plug it into your guitar. Yeah. And it has to be the first time an amp I've uh, first time an amp's ever done that. I mean, it's, it, I like this. And of course, the reason it's so important that, you know, that you use uh, digital wireless technology is that, you know, Bluetooth is still, from an audio perspective, got a latency issue that, although you could argue is almost inaudible now for just normal playback stuff, if you're playing the guitar, even the tiniest delay between hitting the mm. string and the sound coming out the speaker yeah. is off-putting. Mm. So of course by doing it with proper wireless rather mm. than Bluetooth, mm. um, it's, it eliminates all that kind of latency. And how cool is that? You just plug it in to charge it. Uh, you get quite a long time. I think you get to eight to ten hours or something. Then you're out of a full charge. And then it also has a sleep mode as well. So if you don't move the guitar, oh, it actually wow. goes to sleep. You know, it's like, like me. It's <laughs> No, you don't go to sleep. I do. If I don't make, if I don't well, maybe move, you do. Yeah, for any time, I just go to sleep. Um, <laughs> but if you, if the, if the bug's actually in sleep mode, you get two hundred hours with that. That's as well. So it's going to last a so, long time. Just to clarify, the, there's no extra charge. The receiver is built in to the amplifier yeah. as standard, but you buy the little Absolutely. Time transmitter. Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's an option. About eighty quid at the moment. Yes, it is. So, um, Let's do, you know, let's hear another sound. Let's, uh, we, we had a, what was the first sound that you used? Bass okay. money. Yeah, so the kind of bass let's go super clean and maybe okay. with a, you know, we can add a couple of effects in as okay. well. Okay, so yes, yeah, so let's just do that sort of straight from the app. So we literally, I got this amplifier yesterday and quickly put a few sounds in. So that should. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> That's there fine. There it's is just like, one problem with it's just like, system. Yeah, it's yeah. just like being in a normal Anderton shop demo where you're trying to work out why nothing works and then you haven't plugged the lead in. Um, so can yeah. we? Yeah, let's play this and maybe add a couple of nice effects over as you're playing, just as a little sample as to how okay. it sounds. Yeah, sure. I mean, we could do. I mean, you could do that right now on the on the app. So whilst I'm playing, so the app with anything of, the, of Line Six, the way that they're, they're making it so easy to use now, you could just tap on that icon there. And it would switch it on with it. Yeah. Oh, so wow. yeah. So you can scroll through. Same same sort of thing as Amplify yeah, Firehawk. I, there you can scroll through the and see all the details. The detail on the graphics so, yeah. is so good, isn't it? But yeah. all right, cool. It is. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, you you choose a couple that you like. Can you assign them to the the, fo the foot pedal? Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. and it's color coded as well. Oh, cool. So uh, color code as long as you've got the FPV3, which is an optional extra there yeah. as well, obviously as well. Um, but yeah, it's going to give you color code in the green. The color awesome. we talked about earlier. Yes. Yeah. So we should. Have some kind of clean sound. Anyway, <laughs> just as he finds the really <laughs> weird ones at the end. Um, again, we'll go into the editor more in, in the full depth demo. I just wanted to kind of quickly show off a couple of things. Um, last, let's just quickly whiz through what else, what other sort of features are, and then we'll do the sort of the, the JTM 45 more yep. gamey sort of thing. So we, we talked about the full range speaker system. The XLR emulated outputs are on the 120 and upwards, or all yes. of them? Just the yes, 120 on, the, on the 120 upwards, yeah. Um, obviously, you're seeing the editor now, there's you know, yep. billions of things like that. Foot controller is the optional FPV3. It is, yeah. Uh, is, obviously, do, the, do the smaller FPV controllers work if you want something more affordable just to do patch up? Um, that's a good question. All right. I need to Tune in I'm later, we'll find yeah. out that question need, for you. Do need to um, it's very new to me, this amplifier as well, yeah. 
USB is for recording as well as yeah. editing. Yeah, so that's 24 bit streaming of audio as well. So even if you maybe bought the 30 watt amplifier, that's going to give you all those sounds sort of straight into Cubase and straight into Pro Tools, depending on what, depending on which door that you yeah. that you actually use there as well. So it's a good way of getting the, you know all those different sounds into your recordings and having a bit of a practice combo as well at the same time. Now there is an auxiliary input for you to attach your you know, music player too. Of course, if you're just about to buy an iPhone 7, that might be a problem now. Uh, but the good news is, if you have no way whatsoever of plugging your sort of music player device into this, it has built in some drum tracks, doesn't it? It does. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's have a little listen to yes. maybe. In fact, why don't you let's do two more pieces of playing. Jam over the drum track, yeah. and then we'll do the loop thing with the. Acoustic. Okay. Okay. Cool. Dozens of different drum tracks there that you can jam along with, um, and of course you can have any style, amp style that you want to there. Um, thank you everybody that um, responded to the Facebook post that I put out there saying what questions <laughs> do you want to ask Paul. I think we covered them all. With a picture um, of me going... Yeah, there, there, was <laughs> a, there was a question about uh, do the amps have effects loops, which they appear not to have, no. but I, I guess... There's so, you know, there's so much stuff in yeah. there, you know, it's... it's uh, uh, there were uh, questions about, you know, so is, does this sound better than certain other brands, which of course... Of course you know, it does! Yes, Paul's going to say of yes. Of course! Um, you know, and I think, you know, my feeling with that is, is that there's lots of great technology out there. Every single one is going to have something that's going to appeal to somebody. The good news for, for all you guys out there is, you know, 2016 has been a big year for new product, you know, whether it's whether it's Marshall Code or, or, or you know, Spider 5 or the new Boss Katana range or whatever. So, or, you know, Vox did one earlier this year. So dive on over to the Anderson's TV channel and the Chappers channel because uh, we'll have demoed them all and then you can go, that's the one I like the best and that's what you should do. Um, we're going to play out now with my the favourite bit that, that Paul did in the demo which is uh, use this as an acoustic amp to put a loop on and then get the electric guitar again to sort of jam over. Yeah. Uh, so that's what you're going to hear is the fade out. I'll put a link below this to where you can go and find out more about this amp but again subscribe to Anderson's TV because that's where all the best demos of all the best gear are going to be. Paul, indies. Thank you so much, sir. Look forward you. to having you on uh, back at Anderson soon. And I think I'm back there on Thursday. Oh, fantastic! With Rob to do. Oh, cool. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, look, we'll see you then. Absolutely. All right. Take Cheers. it easy. Cheers, guys.